evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Lady Tiger Volleyball here in Waynesville tonight as the Waynesville Lady Tigers take on the Hornet, the Hillcrest Lady Hornets from Hillcrest down in Springfield. I'm Mike Rawlings. Along with me tonight is Matt Johnson. Matt, first indoor sports activity of the 2018-19 season, and we got the Lady Tigers hosting the Hornets tonight. Absolutely. You know what? With the craziness of the weather here lately, you never know if it's going to be 110 degrees or if it's going to be pouring buckets of water. I, I'm ready for an indoor sport. We actually saw both of those today, I <laughs> yes. believe. As fifth hour, I had my class out on the football field, and I think it was close to 115. <laughs> Seventh hour, we watched it rain so hard you couldn't see across the parking lot. So. I believe it. But you say, as you said here, great to uh, get going. We've been with you once so far in football. Time to bring you another sport. We got volleyball action. You know, come come winter time, we'll have basketballs bouncing all over the place. But whoa, whoa, whoa. and wrestlers and wrestlers. But just absolute joy to be in here. It's going to be my first time getting to see our Lady Tigers play. Know that they've had some success already this season uh, under first year head coach uh, Miss Callis over there, and I'm excited to get to watch the ladies play. You're seeing your starting lineups right now for the Lady Tigers. There's Alden Pills. Lucinda Myers, Shelby Warden being announced there, number 27. That's going to be Victoria Perry, number 30. Victoria Senior. Hard to believe that Victoria is already a senior. That is. Sophomore Jordan Harpel. Another senior right there, Gracie Hutchison. I had that moment today down here in the gym after school when you realized Gracie was a senior. Well, it seems like Gracie's only run track for us for 37 years. Something like that. And our low up. Uh, libero tonight is going to be Hannah Hedrick. As you see the, the lineup here, always such pageantry with volleyball, the cheers and the, the pageantry. coordinates. Pageantry, I like <laughs> that. It, it's almost like opening day in St. Louis without Clydesdales. There's, there's just all sorts of stuff that goes on. Well, that may be the next thing we add to it. I'll talk to Coach Callis. You know, she, being new, she can add some new stuff to it. Maybe we'll have the Clydesdales here next week. I don't think that's going to be good on that wooden floor. <laughs> gonna Coach Pills is not going to mind. No, Coach Pills, I, I saw someone swinging a golf club at this wooden floor mm -hmm. earlier this year. Coach Pills looked none too pleased at that moment. Clydesdales ain't going to sweeten the pot. I did not catch who has first serve. I don't know if you did. We will see here shortly. See the referees <coughs> checking the numbers, checking the players. Lineup cards appear to be right. As soon as he is double checked, we will get a ball, and it looks like the Lady Hornets of Hillcrest will have first serve. Ladies and gentlemen, we're glad you could join us tonight live via the TTSN Sports Network on Facebook and on YouTube. Once again, send us a message on Facebook if you're out there watching from somewhere like, I don't know, Matt. Like Arizona, we might have a viewer from Arizona watching us right now. That would be fantastic. We got 16 states as you see the Lady Tigers take the first point. In our first home football game, we put 16 different pins in that TTSN map. Now we got somebody from right up the interstate in Rolamo watching, just tuned in to watch. Love to see our viewers watching down in Rolla. You know, a lot of time they tune in on our sister station down there, Channel 6. Always remind you it's half as good as Channel 12 and TTSN. So side out goes to the Lady Hornets and that's gonna knot us up at one point apiece here. Back to serve for the Lady Hornets is gonna be number 10, Cassidy Pentecost. Not, mm, tough move right there. Not able to get it over the top. So the point will go to the Lady Hornets. Pentecost back to serve once again. It's up, it's over. Set in the middle, Ashlyn Warden with a hammer coming across. 
right in the net. Nothing you can do with that one right there. Pentecost tries to dig it out too close to the net right there. So that'll move the serve over. And trying to look at who's going back there. It looks like that is Molly Henry going back to so serve. That's going to be Mary Henry. Ma Mary Henry. Mary, just a freshman. Seeing time on the varsity floor is fantastic. That's going to be long, but it's going to be off the hands of a Lady Tiger, so the side out and point will go over to Hillcrest. Well, Matt, I had a chance to talk a little bit with Coach Callis, Coach Madlock after school. Both of them agreed. This was one of those games tonight. It was not going to be easy, but it was a game that they thought the t Lady Tigers matched up well with. Lady Tigers trying to get over that hump this year. Uh, you see a lot, lot of young Lady Tigers out there on the floor as we see a lot of rotation and stuff. And Lady, Lady Tigers think tonight's going to be that night to bring home that first W. That, is, that would be awesome here. All right, serve comes over. Dug out on the back line right at the net. And Jordan Harpel putting it down. Gracie Hutchison serving for the Lady Tigers. Dug in the middle, set, tip across, dug out Alden Pills. Back across it goes to the Lady Falcons. Lady Hornets, I'm sorry. Ball's going to be long off the hands of the Lady Tigers, so that'll side out and tie us up at four. We're going to have our first substitution over there for the Lady Hornets. It's going to be number 25, Audrey Fountain, Checking in. Serves going to be into the net right there by the Lady Hornets. And Miss Anderson not able to get that one across. So go over to the Lady Tigers. Checking in for the Lady Tigers. Going to be number 28. Sydney Kuhneman. Sydney Kuhneman going back to serve. Serves across. Doug set, going to be a long volley there. Lady Tigers look to set it up. Near side, and Ooh. Miss Warden puts it down with authority. Yes, she does. set to the near side Tigers get a hand on it but it comes down right at the net falls on the Tiger side so the point in the side out moves over to the Lady Hornets Paige Durham with that scoring shot for the Lady Hornets service over dug out by Henry in the middle set to the near side pills all in pills you know just looking at the names on the Tiger roster I'm having to really focus on not calling the wrong first name because how, how many older sisters have we seen come through this program that we have younger sisters now on the floor? That you is look, true. So far we've got three. And Warden. It, you just look at all of these and I'm thinking, man, what a run of sisters we have had as Jordan Harpel puts it right down. And, and Matt, so far you've only messed up two of the three names. That's not bad. <laughs> well, I'll get that third one. You just give me a little time. I'll get it wrong before we're done. Warden with the serve right there, not across. So the point inside out will move the serve over to the Lady Hornets. Checking into the game and going back to serve is going to be Madison Letterman. Letterman. Cross and it's long. Nice decision there. You see Shelby really wanted to hit that ball. Hannah Hedrick. to serve for the Lady Tigers. Nice dig in midcourt right there, set up right at the net. Tigers dig it out, gonna set the middle, tip across by Hutchinson. Oh, nice play right there by the Tigers, but Hillcrest able to dig it out. Set to the top to Pills, Pills, Pills puts, puts it puts down. It You 
look out there, and Lady Tigers have a little height on the floor. You don't want to set that ball in too close to that net because you're going to see a Lady Tiger reach over and slam it right back down. Hedrick with another serve for the Lady Tigers. And that's that going to stay long. along. Lady Tigers up 10-6 here in the first game. And the Hedrick still serves for the Lady Tigers. Nice strong serve, cross tipped out. Just a free ball over for Hillcrest. The Lady Tigers look to set it. Victoria Perry puts it down, but somehow pulled out there. Nice save by Shelby Warden. Shelby Warden, what a move right there. Middle set, tipped across. Now the Lady Tigers look to set. Hutchison in the middle. And she scores. I had to score wrong. It was. It was 11-6, not 10-6. Now it's 12-6, and we're going to get a timeout by the Lady Hornets. Coach Robin Collins wants to wants to slow this down right here. We we were knotted up, pretty close game, and all of a sudden the Lady Tigers go on a six-point run. Well, I think Coach Collins wants to slow that down. Well, I think she wants to get Hannah Hedrick out of that rhythm. <laughs> we talk about that in volleyball all the time. It's that rhythm. Han Hannah had rolled off five straight points serving. Student section starting to fill in over there across the way. Looks like we're going on the roller coaster, Coach Rollins. Yeah, I believe so. Love to see the student athletes as you see several of the basketball players, different, different sports represented over there, but love to see those other athletes get in here and support the other sports. I believe that that roller coaster ride was directed there by Waynesville track athlete Joseph Christensen. I thought that's who it was, too. He had his oh, back to coach. us. But Joseph has the energy. To they had the glean. music going today in the cafeteria, and Joseph was not disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Serve across for Hedrick. Dug out. Set to the bottom of the screen here. A little set. Warden gets it across. Hammered across. Nice save right there by Hedrick. And Warden back to the middle. Lady Tigers trying to find the seam in there and a block. Gracie Hutchison getting up and using the height. Pushes the lead to 13 to six. Tigers on a roll here as Hedrick still serves. Oh, what a nice oh, serve nice right job. there. Hedrick put that deep in that corner. And there, were, there was nothing Van Horn could do no. with that one. She tried to dig it out, but it was eating her up as soon as she was even close. So Hannah Hedrick back to serve still. 14-6, Lady Tigers lead here in game number one. Oh, and just into the net on that one. Hannah with a nice roll. I believe that was nine points, Matt. The Lady Tigers put on a run right there, put some distance between them and the Lady Hornets. Lady Hornets now look to try and dig out. Audrey Fountain back to serve. Tigers are going to set. Near side, block, dug Keep out. Keeping it alive, keeping it alive. Pills gets it across, and off the hands of the Lady Hornets it goes. Lucinda Myers getting ready to check in for the Lady Tigers. I saw Victoria Perry right there rear back to let one go. I, I'm not sure I'd want to get in front of one of those. No, I, I don't think that'd be a good idea. Might have to check the if all my front teeth are still there after a couple of those. Is serve slam down right there by the Lady Hornets. That's Tidwell, number 16, Jolene Tidwell. Put a little sting on her own right there. It's going to rotate back Pentecost to serve once again for the Lady Hornets. Dug out by Warden on the back. Setting Perry right there. Hammered, but a big block put up there by Jolene Tidwell.
So that's going to send Pentecost back to serve again as they start to trim the Lady Tiger lead just a little bit, 15 to 9. We're going to get a timeout by Coach Callis there. Jolene Tidwell has caused a lot of havoc over the last three points. So I think Coach Callis wants to have a little talk about keeping that ball away from her maybe Absolutely. might be a good idea. Well, we've seen the, just the last few, few volleys that you put it up near the net and give her space to set up, and she's got, she's got the height to get up and block. She's got the height to bring the hammer down. I'll tell you something, Matt. Sitting there with Gracie today right at the end of the school day and talking about some things. And Gracie Hutch is going to be a four-year trackster, volleyball the whole bit. Just thank the world all, Gracie. But she said something today that just put Gracie over the top with me. If she had to pick between Chick-fil-A and Mexican Villa, she's going to the Mexican Villa. And I was, <laughs> that was a high-five moment this afternoon. As the serve goes into the net. The difference is <laughs> Gracie can eat like that. She's got the high metabolism, works all the time. You and I eat like that too many times. It it, it don't sit as well on us. Oh, it sets well. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Tigers. Another point for the Lady Tigers. Gonna get that one. That's going to be out of bounds on the basketball court. So that's going to push the Tiger lead, Lady Tiger lead to 7-17-10 seven, here in game number one. This can be Mary Henry back serving for the Lady Tigers. Just out. long. Just, just out. That was really close over there on that back line. Checking back into the game for the Lady Hornets going to be uh, Tashira Love, number 14. And Tidwell now back to serve. She puts a little sting on it. Dug out by Hedrick. Pills to Warden. Warden gets it across. Going to be dug out by Tidwell on the far side. And that one's going to be yeah. out of bounds long on the Lady Tigers to the east side. That that ball was east bounding down. Hey, Matt, we're going to send our condolences out to the Reynolds family. As one of the great, all-time greats, Burt Reynolds passed away today. That ball's going to be out of bounds. What I was waiting on the call over there. All right, Hedrick digs it out, set to the top side. That's Myers, gets it across, but dug out by the Lady Hornets. Comes Ooh, cross court in. in. Trims that lead to 17-14. That's Paige Durham, nice little move right there. Get the set to the top side, and instead of trying to bring it straight across, kind of comes cross court with that hit. Catches the Lady Tigers off right there and scores the point for the Lady Hornets. Pills to Warden. And Warden comes through like a load of bricks with that top right hand. So the side out will come to the Lady Tigers. Gracie Hutchison moves back to serve. Nice, nice serve. Shot, nice shot. Boy, that was the spot on the court. With all kinds of open area, and Gracie put it right. Hit where it where they ain't, and, and she did. No chance to get that back over. Notice the Tidwell moves up a little bit that time. But not going to let that happen twice, I don't believe. A little miss hit, save, dug out. Now Lady Tigers look to set. Set in the middle, Harpel going over the top. Oh, Warden just right out, there. just out. Warden saw that opening, got just a little too much of the ball right well, there. Well, and, and gets in, the Warden's eyes light up because once again right there, Lady Hornets trying to set their own middle, end up getting that ball a little too close to the net. Shelby will jump up there and knock that down. Set to the top, Lucinda Myers puts the hammer on it. And it's gonna be out of bounds off the hands of Hillcrest, so point Lady Tigers.
Shelby Kuhneman back to serve for the Lady Tigers. Tigers leading by five, 20 to 15 here in game number one. Oh! Just caught the top of the net. Well, Jordan, the Harpel's eyes were as big as dinner plates because that was getting ready to come down hard. Caught the top of the net, slowed it down, and Harpel not able to bring the hammer on it. So side out and point goes over. Dug out in the back. It's going to be Mary Henry. Warden free ball over. Back set going to be long. long. It's going to be out of bounds off uh, Tashir Love. So the side out and point now flips over to Lady Tigers, leading 21-16. Shelby Warden back to serve for the Lady Tigers. Nice serve right there, right into the net. Oh, Hillcrest able to get it out of the net. It's going to set. That hard hit right there. Be up in the crowd, another point for the Lady Tigers. Well, nice, nice effort right there on the back line for Hillcrest, but Victoria Perry had that ball moving. Shelby serves, comes across. It's going to be right at the net. Perry, Kuhneman, Warden across. Oh. That's going to be long, but it's going to be off the hands of a Lady Tiger. So point and side out moves over to the Lady Hornets. It's off the hands of the front line right there, and Victoria had to give it a give it a try in the back. Macy Baker and uh, Madison Letterman checking into the game for the Lady Hornets. Warden right at the net. Warden got a little too much of that coming through. It's hard to, it's hard to set that ball off a serve and got just a right. little too much of it. Victoria Perry comes with the hammer. It and looks gonna be to me. In. That's gonna be a point for the Lady Tigers. 23-18 here in game one. All right, 23-18, as you said, nearing in on game point. And Hannah Hedrick back get to a serve. Time out for the Lady Hornets from Trying Hillcrest. to ice Hannah Hedrick before she serves. A lot of people checking in tonight, Matt, via the Facebook. Big hello out there to Jake Kloppel. He's joined us saying, hey, he's cheering on those Lady Tigers. Well, do you, you see the, the all of the things that Mr. Kleppel does here around the high school with the student government and everything else. If there's a man that bleeds black and orange, it's Jake. All right, so Hannah Hedrick coming out of the timeout. She is up to serve. Lady Tigers, 23-18. We saw Hannah get on a nice little run earlier, reel off about seven in a row. She just needs to reel off two here, Matt. I'll take two. Off the net, dug out by Hillcrest. Set up to the top, it's There's gonna be one. long, and it's game point. It's game point. All right, so Hedra back to serve for the Lady Tigers. Game point, 24-18. Dug out on the back. Gonna serve to the top side, put down, tipped. Side out and point goes over to the Hillcrest Lady Hornets. Makes it 24-19. We're going to have a switch in for the Lady Hornets. That's number 13, Macy Baker, checking back in. Back to serve for the Lady Hornets. going to be Audrey Fountain, number 25. Serving in the middle, dug out Hannah Hedrick. Pills puts it up. Across by Hutchison. Tip right at the net, Harpel. Hedrick with save, can they get there? <laughs> Running Lady out Tigers. of real estate over there. Lady Tigers with a lot of hustle right there. The ball just out of reach. That's gonna be a timeout. Coach Callis is gonna call this timeout. 20, 24-20. Here trying to, Tigers trying to finish off game number one. A lot of action going on. I believe we still have tennis going on. The rain shut things down, but it looked like they were drying off the courts and uh, trying to get it finished up. Uh, I believe Camdenton and West Plains 
We're in town uh, today to uh, take on the Lady Tiger tennis team. I believe softball had to call off because of the rain. I, I, I can't imagine yeah. that they didn't. As much rain as we got, all of a sudden at about 2.20 today here at the high school. So. Well, I did not see. I believe they were supposed to be at home, and when I left school, I didn't see anybody at the softball yeah. field. So I believe you're right. All right, said Ashley War Ashlyn Warden. It's going to be a long save right there by Hillcrest. Gets the ball over. Lady Tigers look to set. Nice little tip right there. Victoria Perry coming back. Just a little push back. And, and, and that's going to be a 25-20 win here in game number one for your Lady Tigers. So they'll switch sides up here. Have a little three-minute break. We're at this break. You know what that means it's time for, don't you, Matt? A TTSN Sports Update? It's time for a TTSN Sports Update. This TTSN Sports Update brought to you by the Tiger T Tiger Fa Tiger TV Facebook page. Woo! I'm still in preseason form. <laughs> Tiger TV Facebook page. You're going to want to like the Tiger TV Facebook page for all the news. It is news right here in Tiger Town. Matt, you know who likes the Tiger TV? Well, I'm bad 500. Back? Can I just abstain and keep my nope. percentage? You got to You're back at the plate. You got to go. Come All right, out I'm, I'm going to say that new Tigers lady head coach volleyball, Megan Callis, likes the Channel 12. That's why you keep swinging because Megan Callis <laughs> likes the Tiger TV Facebook page. That's where she goes every day, every night for all the news. It is news right here in Tiger Town. Matt, this sports update. We're going to talk about what's going on tomorrow night. Right down Interstate 44, so Tiger football team will be back at it again tomorrow night at Lebanon. Big conference game, big rivalry game. We always have a big rivalry with that Lebanon Yellow Jacket team. We're not going to be on TV. Nobody's going to have that one on TV. You need. We want to see everybody get out, get in their car, head down 30 minutes away. Friday night football in <laughs> Lebanon. Don't get much better than that on Friday night. Now, I will say this, Matt. I'd pack an umbrella yeah. and a whole bunch of rain gear <clears throat> because it looks like it could be good and wet. Well, or if uh, if TTSN sports and rule interpreter Coach Gary Schultz is going to be there, I know Coach Schultz has got to have 800 sets of rain gear in Pretty the back much. of his truck. Pretty much. That's, that's where I go for my <laughs> rain gear. Is the back of Gary Schultz's truck because I always get last year's model and it drives you just as good as well, this year's absolutely. model. Absolutely, but would love to see everybody out <coughs> in Lebanon supporting the team. Tigers, Tigers just about last Friday night. <coughs> Tigers take a loss to Kickapoo by three points, but man, watch that game on TV <coughs> via the Springfield Network and the Tigers heartbreaker. Tigers with the lead back and forth game all night. <coughs> just couldn't get that pulled out. Two weeks, Tigers will be back here at home. Be real nice to come in here with a after a victory off Lebanon. All right, <clears throat> as we're into action, Lady Tigers have first serve here, and that's going to be in <clears throat> for the Lady Tigers. No, I'm sorry, they're going to say that's long. I thought they called it in. They're going to say that's long, so the point will go over to the Lady Hornets. Dug out by Lucinda Myers for the Lady Tigers. Set up the top, and Lucinda brings the hammer down. Gracie Hutchison's going to finish it. it. <coughs> Mary Henry checking in for the Lady Tigers. She's going to go back to serve. Well, you talk about Mary being just a freshman, but how many times have we seen that pay off when you can get some of these good, talented underclassmen on the court varsity time how much does that pay off down the line that experience all the way through that senior year it's going to be four hits on the lady hornets for, so a point for the lady tigers and you're exactly right man <coughs> mary up oh off the front of the net oh and we're going to get that point once again matt if we could teach I, somebody to do I that every years time ago, we need to coach that hit right there if you could coach it to put it into the edge of the net so it falls over any time you want. Coach Callis may have not heard my ideas on that. I, I might need to sit down with her and give her some of my insights. 
Can I listen to that conversation, please? I, it's going to be short. She's not going to like the stuff I make up. But you never know unless you try. It's a new season, new year. Maybe someone likes my ideas this year. As you see the Lady Tigers put it over the top. Score again. The Lady Tigers on a quick run here. We're going to get a timeout from the Lady Hornets. It's only 5-1, but got to <coughs> believe right over there. Coach Caitlin uh, Winter is, is explaining. Did I, is that right? Nope. Sorry. Coach Robin Collins. It's too far down the page. Coach Robin Collins is wanting to get this stop now. Well, and we saw the Lady Tigers go on that long run in that first game. You, you don't want to get, get that momentum building. You don't want to see Hannah Hedrick rotate back to serve and watch her rip seven off real quick. So you want to stop it? Try and stop it right here if you can, if you're the Lady Hornets. But if you're a Tiger fan, we, we want to just to keep yeah, rolling. There's no reason to stop this. <clears throat> We're biased. We're okay with that. Just keep rolling them points. Keep rolling them points. Mary Henry will still be serving for the Lady Tigers if we come out here. <clears throat> Student section starts to get rowdy over there. Mary, nice serve, dug out in the middle. Gonna set to the side and that's gonna be into the net. Down point for the Lady Tigers. That was going to be a little be long. All right. Dug out by the Tigers. Back set right there to Gracie Hutchinson trying to catch the Lady Hornets off guard. Nice block at the net. And Warden, get, no, right into the very top of the net, falls back on the side of the Lady Tigers. The point will go over to the Lady Hornets. All right, back to serve is going to be Cody Anderson for the Lady Hornets. She gets it across, Ashlyn Warden. Tip set at the net. Just across and dug out by the Hornets. Oh, hard hit right there by Lucinda Myers blocked, but quick with the dig. Shelby Warden puts that one home. Wow. Number 37, Jordan Harpel checking into the game for the Lady Tigers. And it looks like Gracie Hutchinson back to serve. Hillcrest back set at the net, blocked, put down right there. Pushes the Tiger lead to five, eight to three here in game number two. Lady Tigers looking to try and put this done in two games tonight. Put them Lady Hornets back on the bus down to Springfield. Tremendous effort right there by yeah. Gracie. Lady Tigers not able to get it up and over, but Gracie makes a diving effort to even keep it alive right there. So the ball will go out to the other side, and that's going to be number nine, Paige Durham, back to serve for the Lady Hornets. That was going to be long. long. And we're going to have a rotation in for the Lady Tigers. Abby Foster checking in for the Lady Tigers. And Foster will go back to serve. Nice right there. Tries to Did you Jolene hit that deep well. enough that there was a little bit of indecision there. Yeah. Do I let it go? It, was, it would have worked out either way, I do believe. Foster goes right back to Tidwell. Tidwell able to dig that one out. Henry able to get it up, but it's going to go long. So side out and point will go over to the Lady Hornets. 
as we got uh, some changes here for the Lady Hornets. We've got number 22, Madison Letterman, and number 13, Macy Baker, rotating in for the Lady Hornets. Serve is Letterman. Dug out by Hutchison at the middle of the net. Down hard by Harpel, but dug out by the Hornets. Little tip across. Lady Tigers not able to get the handle on that one. Ball kind of came off, came across as a change up there, and I think it threw uh, Alden Pills off just a little bit. Letterman back to serve, dug out by Schultz. Gracie Hutchison, I'm sorry. Oh, Jordan Harpel. That's going to be lifted up. That's going to be a point for the Lady Tigers. Jordan, Jordan to be able to put that reach up and just, just knock it down. Victoria Perry checking in for the Lady Tigers. Warden Shelby puts that long. Just a little bit Coach long. Rawlings, we're joined in the booth tonight. Assistant Principal Kevin Schnicker, a celebrity stopping by the booth well, all night long with us. That's what happens here at the TTSN Sports Network. Well, do you get a suite like ours, you're going to have the VIPs and celebrities stop by to visit with you. Dug out by the Lady Hornets right at the net. Harpel's going to back set. And that's going to be Pills. Pills puts it across. Going to be dug out on the near side. Going long. Hutchison there. Now going to set Victoria Perry. Victoria Perry puts, puts it home. Puts it down. Hannah, Hannah Hendrick. Gonna Hannah check, check it in. back in. We saw Hannah get on the run in that first game. Reel off seven in a row. Would love to see the Lady Tigers keep that lead pushing right now. Nice serve right there by Hedrick. Dug out by Hillcrest. Deep hit nice right there. Shot. Nice shot there. Not a lot more you can do but tip your hat right there as number nine, Paige Durham, just reared back and let that one rip. So the side out and the point will go to the Lady Hornets. Victoria Perry at the line. She put that one in. There's going to be another point for the Lady Tigers. We get a shout out to head wrestling coach Lucas Smith. He's checking in with us. Just you never you never know. That's the th that's the thing about TTSN. Sure, you can dial us up here locally, Channel 12. You can be anywhere in the world. Every person in the world has the ability to watch this game, Matt. Is it's the wonders of technology, brother. Nice block at the net Gracie right there. Hutchinson puts that home. Lucinda Myers just puts that the. that Lucinda or was that Gracie? Well, they were both right there. I think Lucinda got the, got the hands on it. Oh, just into the top of the net and down. So point will go over, serve will go over to the Lady Hornets. And that's going to be Jolene Tidwell, number 16, back to serve for the Lady Hornets. Gets it across, Warden digs it out on the back line. Back set by Pills to Perry, and she's across, but dug out by Hillcrest. What a nice dig right there by Hannah Hedrick. Little touch, Lady Tigers. Mary Henry checking back in for the Lady Tigers. And Mary will move back to serve. Mary puts a nice little zippy serve on it. Cross. That's going to be, be long. long. Tashira Love tried to rear back and hold a little bit, but sends that one long. We're going to get a timeout once again by the Lady Hornets. Matt, during this timeout, we want to recognize our uh, students working tonight under the direction of the incomparable Tim Wallace. The illustrious. The aluminum. Tim, Tim Wallace. Wallace. He puts this on. You know, I stood down here for a little bit this afternoon. Tim comes in with these kids. They set all this up. We've got the easy job. We come in, sit down, put the headsets on. We just get to talk about it. Kids working tonight for uh, Mr. Wallace is going to be Garrett Curry, Grace Christek, Jason Lear, Brad Farrell, Kate Knoll, and Alicia Perchman. 
They're doing an absolutely fabulous job bringing this volleyball action to you tonight. <clears throat> Absolutely. It looks you like see, we're headed toward maybe a Lady Tiger victory. Well, I, I, I'm banking on it. Rolling here. Take him two down. Boom, bang, bing. Let's roll on. All right, so Mary Henry backs to serve still for the Lady Tigers. All right, dug out on the far side. It's out of bounds, but re recovered. And across. Oh, little tip right there. Pills. Going to be hit over by Hutchinson now. Hillcrest looks to serve right at the net. <laughs> All right, Mary to serve again. Back. What a nice save wow. right there by the Lady Hornets. Cedric puts it right at the net. Gracie puts the hammer down, but Hillcrest somehow able to get that one out. Wow. wow just going to be long. Just long, but that ball was moving off of the arms of Ashlyn Warden. Well, I'm sorry there. I got the third sister. It's Shelby Warden, not Ashlyn Warden. So now I've got all three of them now. No, you had, you'd already messed that up. I'd already messed that one up. Okay. Alden's the only one that you've been on tonight that you've got right every <laughs> time. All right, set near side. Right there, put down and blocked. Lucinda Myers. <clears throat> Pushes the Lady Tiger lead to eight. Back to serve for the Lady Tigers. Going to be Gracie Hutchison. A little back set right there. Oh, what a what a save by the Lady Tigers. Wow. That one's going to go out of bounds. But Alden Pills right there dives to keep it alive. All right, that's going to be number nine, Paige Durham, back to serve for the Lady Hornets. That's and it's be long. 19-11 here in game number two in favor of the Lady Tigers. And rotate, checking back into the game for the Lady Tigers. Going to be number two. Abby Foster. Okay, my, my eyes, the, hard to catch those numbers. Not able to get that one across. That one's going to go over to the Lady Hornets. As we see, checking in for the Lady Hornets, going to be number 22, Madison Letterman, and number 13, Macy Baker. Letterman back to serve, gets it across, dug out by Hutchison. Set to Pills. Pills puts a hammer on it. Hillcrest somehow able to corral that one. Harpel at the line, didn't let anything across. So point over to the Lady Tigers. Victoria Perry checking back in for the Lady Tigers. Shelby Warden back to serve for the Lady Tigers. Set at the bottom. Get that ball across. Little tip at the line. Nice diving play right there by the Lady Tigers, and that point goes over to us. Abby Foster with that diving play. Pushes the Waynesville lead to 21-12 here. Warden still back to serve for Waynesville. Hammers it across. Dug out by Hillcrest. Set at the bottom. <laughs> And we saw it again there, Jolene Tidwell. You let her get that serve right up on the net. And she has a, a heavy arm right there. All right, that's going to be Fountain back to serve for Hillcrest. Gets it across. Lady Tigers now look. Harpel pushes long. Oh! That one's just going to be out. Big hello to Tiger alum Christian Hopkins out there watching us tonight. I always love it when we see the, the alum, those guys that hadn't been gone very long, tuning back in.
Ball across, Warden saves it, wasn't sure. Good decision to save it when you're not sure. Harpel with a little push move back right there. At the line, it's gonna be out of bounds, but not until it touches the Lady Tiger. We're gonna get a timeout by Coach Callis and the Lady Tigers. Another big hello goes out. Great state of Tennessee, Nelson Morgan. Voice of the Tigers. Long time voice of the Waynesville Tigers. Joining ne us in Tennessee. Well, Nelson getting in early. He was, he was hitting us up during the football broadcast. Right here off the bat on the volleyball broadcast. Early leader in running for fan of the year. Nelson's already got one of those trophies on his mantle. Well, he's looking for the back-to-back -back titles. That's right. That's as, what he's looking for. As Nelson Morgan took down the, the favorite last year going into the season, was calling long. Nelson swipes in, takes it. Nelson likes the likes the well, look of that trophy. I think I think Betty told him he needed to balance that out and <coughs> have two trophies, one on each side well, of the mantle. Well, what's better than one trophy? Two trophies. Two trophies. All right, so we're back to action. Lady Tigers lead by six. That one's going to sail long. Victoria Perry comes down hard, but just across that back line, going to trim that Tiger lead down to five. Ashlyn Van Horn, the libero, back to serve there for the Lady Hornets. Into the net and down. Victoria Perry gets that over. Lady Hornets just could not handle it. Hannah Hedrick back to serve. <laughs> For the Lady Tigers, last game she needed two. This now time we she need needs three. three. We'll I believe in her. Nice block in the middle. Gracie Hutchison gets up and just hammers that. Not, not going to be able to do much with that right there. All right, Sahana back to serve still. Tigers need to finish this up. Send those Lady Hornets back to Springfield unhappy tonight. There's another now one. Now we are game, set, and match point. We will take it all night long. We just need one more point, Matt. Hannah's going to do it. I know she's going to do it. Okay. It made me think there was a little question in your voice no, right there. No, okay. there's no question in my voice. Dug out by Hillcrest, going to set the middle. Little tip up, saved by the Lady Tigers, and Hutchison puts it away, and the Lady Tigers pull game out their first victory of the year. Match. A two-game victory, decisive victory over the Lady Hornets. <laughs> That's right, Matt. That was the Ozark Conference win on top of everything else. Lady Tigers came out tonight, put on quite the show in front of the home crowd. Folks, we want to thank you all for joining us tonight. We're going to be back on the air next Friday night. We'll have Tiger football from Tiger Stadium as they will be taking on the Hillcrest Hornets next Friday night. Tomorrow night, football action down in Lebanon. Hop We'd in love the car, to see you there. 30 minutes down the road, come support your Tigers tomorrow night. That would be awesome. I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight via the TTSN Sports Network. For Matt Johnson, I'm Mike Rollins, and everybody go out and have a great evening.